We've played enough games in college football, so it's time for me to put together my list of 10 players that have a chance to be your 2023 Heisman winner. Let's get into it. Number 10, Washington State quarterback Cam Ward. The incarnate word transfer had a rough season in Pullman last year, and he was holding on to the ball too much. Timing was off with the wideouts, and he didn't take the easy yards with his legs. This year, he's fixed all of that, and the result has been a mind-boggling 13 touchdowns, no picks on 75% completion. Of course, it's going to be tough for him to get the media attention, but road games against Oregon and Washington might give him the shot that he needs. Number nine, Colorado quarterback Shador Sanders. Why is Shador on this list after what happened against Oregon? Two reasons. First, his upcoming schedule is as tough as anybody in the country, and if he gets back on track and a couple other dominoes fall his way, he'll be undeniable. And second, what happened against Oregon revealed what all people that know ball know all along. He is their offense and all of the other players on this list have a great supporting cast and offensive line and he's basically Tom Hanks and Castaway. Number 8, LSU wide receiver Malik Neighbor. One of my biggest complaints about Jaden Daniels in his five year college career is that he doesn't give his future NFL wide receivers the opportunity to win one on one matchups. That's changed this year because he's letting neighbors make plays. If LSU can get 14 games this year, dude is on pace for 1,800 yards and 18 touchdowns. Number seven, Texas quarterback Quinn Ewers. He beat Alabama on the road, a thing that has not happened for any out-of-conference quarterback since Nick Saban's first year on the job. He's not having the best statistical season of the quarterback candidate, but the Big 12 is bad enough this year that he'll be able to catch up for the rest of the season. Number six, Florida State quarterback Jordan Travis. The advantage that Travis has is that Florida State's most difficult games are behind them, so he'll be able to run up numbers numbers and could be the front runner at this point and he'll need support from the Seminoles defense because as long as they're able to hold up their end he'll have a good chance to put his stamp on this season in the 10th game against Miami and the finale against Florida. Number five Notre Dame running back Audric Estimate. The Golden Domers are going to have to win out and that's the only way that people will forget that Estimate had an average game against Ohio State but he has a real shot to average over seven yards to carry through the course of the full season and if he does that on 200 plus carries, he's going to be on that Heisman stage. Number four, Oregon quarterback Bo Nix. Bo Nix was a five-star recruit coming out of high school, and he's doing exactly what he should be doing in year five. His wrists are calculated, and he's flirted with an 80% completion percentage while still taking shots downfield. Plus, it's a priority for Oregon to keep Bo Nix's name in the conversation, so you know they're going to run up them numbers. Number three, Washington wide receiver Rome Adunze. You know how this works as a quarterback award but so far he's been more of what people thought that Marvin Harrison would be this season than the numbers that Marvin Harrison is putting up don't shoot the mess number two USC quarterback Caleb Williams Caleb Williams struggled his way to account for five touchdowns against Arizona State that's a bad day for him He's got the best stable of wide receivers, maybe in the Pac-12. He's possibly the best player that there ever has been, making his own pocket while keeping his eyes downfield. And most importantly, he's college football's biggest brand, Heisman winner already. And as long as USC is in the conversation, he's going to have a shot. And number one, Washington quarterback Michael Penix Jr. This dude is chasing 5,000 yards and 50 touchdowns, and he's not forcing anything. He's playing in rhythm, and then Washington's defense, they're getting getting him the ball back, and then he just goes to work. This quarterback-coach combination with him and Kevin DeBoer is amazing, but anything worse than 11-1, and one, and you know the voters are going to discount him because he's out here on the West Coast. Let that sink in.